PU2 aspirants with just seven days left for your final PU2 board exams, it is quite uh, like common to be anxious and excitement at the same time, right? And these last seven days are very, very crucial and how you utilize this last seven days can significantly impact your performance in the board exams. So yes, in this video, we are going to discuss a detailed seven day strategy where I'll be telling you how you have to utilize your time, when you should revise, when you should write mock test, how to like take care of your health in these last seven days so that you can write your board exams with full confidence and with full preparedness. Okay, so let's start this journey together so that you can excel in your board exams. So first of all, I'll be talking about what all things we have in today's video. So yes, I will be telling you why these seven days are crucial. I know most of you already know it. Then I'll giving you a structured seven day plan. Very, very important for how are you going to utilize this next seven days. Then I'll be also giving you toppers study timetable, effective revision strategies and last uh, day do's and don'ts, what all things you should be doing and avoiding in the last days, okay? So let's start here with the first thing. So our goal, as I already told you, we have to secure or we have to target 290 plus in PCM so that we can get a very good rank in a KSET examination, right? So this has to be your target. So please paste it in front of your study table so that you always remind of this target, okay? Next, why these seven days are crucial? As I told you, these last seven days are your make or break period. You have to utilize it in the best possible and the smartest way so that you can excel in your board exams. Okay. So now coming to a structured seven day plan. Okay. So I have this plan for all of you. So we are going to start phase one. That is day one, two and three. Day fourth and fifth. Then day sixth. Sorry, this is your day 6th and 7th, okay? So here we have phase 3, that is day 6 and 7. So basically on the first phase, day 1, 2, 3, we will focus on syllabus revision. I will be talking about in, in detail. Then day 4 and 5, we will be focusing on practice, okay? And day 6 and 7, we will be focusing on brushing the concepts or final brushing I can write. Okay, so I'll be giving you date, uh, day wise plan. So let's move forward. Yes, so the first phase that is your structured revision. Okay, so on this, which one is this first day 1, 2, 3? That is 20th, 21st and 22nd of February 2025. What all things you have to do? You have to just revise the high weightage topics first. Okay, so if you have already completed the high weightage topics, then go for the low and moderate weightage topics. If not, you have to focus first on the high weightage topics. Now to complete these high weightage topics, you can use short notes, flashcards and mind maps. Okay, do not have to read only through books that is not recommended. You can use if you have prepared short notes, if you have any flashcards or at least if you have mind maps, if you have taken purchase some book where you are having the complete mind map of the chapter, my recommendation is to go through that. And after that, you have to solve previous year questions, five years of PYQs, please solve it. This is very, very important. And how will you do this? Uh, see. You can take Jivit publication book. I have personally seen that book and I am really uh, impressed with the way they have given chapter wise previous year questions. So whichever are the high weightage topics, just go towards the end. You will have previous year questions. So solve those questions that will really boost your confidence. And for writing practice test, if you have pre-board examinations, pre-board papers are there, you can just solve it once again. Okay. Next, you should focus on your weak areas and important formulas okay so weak areas like all the high weightage topics whichever uh, concept okay in a high weightage topic is your weak area focus on that like for example if you are studying uh, coordination chemistry in coordination chemistry or uh, in coordination chemistry, the isomerism part is something which you are weak at. So make sure that you are giving more time to that particular topic. Okay, so when I'm telling you here weak areas, weak areas of 
हाई वेटेज टॉपिक ओके सो प्लीज स्टूडेंट इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डू स्मार्ट स्टडी एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो टू डू दिस स्मार्ट स्टडी यू हैव टू यूज हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट ना यू माइट बी आस्किंग वोट आर द हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स सो हियर आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू द लिस्ट सो दीज आर द हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स इन फिजिक्स द येलो कलर्ड मार्क्स सिमिलरली इन केमिस्ट्री वी हैव दीज आर द हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स यू कैन सी इन मैथ्स एज वेल एंड इन बायोलॉजी सो ट्राई टू फिनिश दीज हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट ओके ना आफ्टर दिस दैट इज फेज टू वी विल गो टू डे फोर एंड डे फाइव ना डे फोर एंड डे फाइव इज ट्वेंटी थर्ड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ फेब्रवरी सो हियर वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर आर गोइंग टू अटेंड फुल लेंथ मॉक टेस्ट फ्रॉम वेर आई विल गेट फुल लेंथ मॉक टेस्ट मैम वी हैव मॉडल टेस्ट पेपर्स राइट यू कैन टेक दैट नेक्स्ट यू शुड राइट इट इन एग्जाम कंडीशन मीन्स यू हैव टू सेट फॉर थ्री आवर्स विदाउट एनी डिस्टर्बेंस लाइक यू आर राइटिंग इन द एग्जाम हॉल इन द सेम एनवायरमेंट यू शुड राइट एंड इट विल बी बेटर इफ यू आर राइटिंग इन दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम ऑल्सो एग्जाम ड्यूरेशन टाइम इफ यू आर एबल टू राइट दैट विल बी बेटर बट येस एनी थ्री आवर्स इज फाइन नेक्स्ट आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग यू हैव टू एनालाइज द मिस्टेक्स एंड रिवाइज द वीक टॉपिक सो वंस यू हैव डन यू विल फाइंड आउट एनालाइज इट सो यू मे आस्क लाइक मैम फ्रॉम वेर वी विल गेट द सोल्यूशन सो आर चैनल इज देयर वी आर सॉल्विंग द मॉडल टेस्ट पेपर वन एंड टू सो you can also attempt that and you can check your answers from our videos next you have to solve at least 2 to 3 model papers so as there were 3 model papers i want all of you to solve at least 2 model papers okay next practice time management and accuracy so you should be having a clear idea about 3 hours time is there how to manage the time how much time you need for the section a section b section c you can divide the time okay so that all practice will come if you solve the mock test so 23rd and 24th will be your time where you are going to solve the mock test or model test papers okay next 25th and 26th that is day 6 and 7 is your final brush up so what all things we are going to do we have to just revise our summary notes and key concept okay so i can tell like one more day you can spend to solve model test paper if you haven't completed in two days you can take one more day you can use this 25th for half time solving paper and half time for Uh, revising the concepts next you have to revise your strong areas okay to boost your confidence and you do not have to study any new topic at this point of time okay if you haven't studied any new topic and that is not a high weightage topic then you can leave it but yes if it is a high weightage topic then try to complete at least the important concept from that particular chapter okay next focus on quick formula reaction revision okay so you should have a list like this i as you can see this is a list where we have electrostatics all the formulas right so something like this you should be preparing for all the chapters so that you can have a quick revision for that okay now if the revision is done then what are you going to do then nothing you have to just solve more model test papers so only thing you have to focus on these two days is revision and model test papers okay so this is up to 26th of feb now i haven't given you any thing for 27 and 28 because that is will be you will be preparing for the exam on 1st of march so it is completely your preparation for canada so i think those who have taken canada so please invest two days completely for canada and you don't have to read any other subject on those days okay fine now coming to toppers time table so day 1 2 and 3 that is from 20th okay 21st and 22nd these 3 days what you have to do you have to follow this time table what you have to do morning you have to get up by 7 am 7 to 8 am you can do one hour revision okay then 9 to 12 you can pick up a difficult subject okay you can like physics maths whichever you feel difficult pick up a difficult subject pick up a high weightage topic from that difficult subject and start studying it how will you study it you can watch any one shot video for that okay if you haven't done at anything one shot video you can watch after that you can solve pyqs okay after that you can solve the questions from our brahmastra series that is very very good and after that you can solve our the mcqs okay so that will be a holistic preparation for that particular subject the same thing you can follow for other two sessions as well so just generally i think here you can do maths easy you can do chemistry and here you can do 
physics that is what i feel okay but you can change according to your level of difficulty or like level of your strength and weakness then revision at night one more hour we will give so whatever we have studied in the whole day you can just revise in 30 to 40 minutes okay so this will be your schedule for one two and three first second and third day now when i come to day fourth and fifth so day fourth and fifth you remember it is the day for practice right so which days it is 20 21 22 then i have 23rd and 24th okay so here we will be writing mock test so first we can revise so 9 to 12 you can write like uh, for example physics mock test okay physics model paper 1 okay then 2 to 4 you can spend time to analyze it okay just analyze the mistakes take some break and after that 5 to 8 evening you can write one more paper and 9 to 10 you can just analyze this paper okay or you can take half an hour to analyze it so here you can take any other paper like chemistry or maths anything your wish any two paper you have to write on 20 third okay two paper here and two paper here and 25th also as i told you you can use to write two papers on this subject so at least pcm you are writing two two papers on each day and i can tell you in this if you want you can avoid chemistry okay you can write any one paper of chemistry at this point of time because for chemistry you have four days in the exam you have gap for four days at that time also you can write one paper to understand the level of preparation okay so i can give like two maths paper two physics paper one chemistry and one bio so you can use these three days to generally four fifth and sixth time telling also you can use this to write the model papers next the last seventh day will be fo mostly focused on revision but how are we going to revise you have to revise only the high weightage topics what you have to revise formulas concepts and definitions then now you have on this day when you come reach the seventh day right that is your 26th of feb okay so when you have already solved the papers you would have got so many mistakes that you should analyze right so those mistakes you have to refer and revise during this period of time and basically you have to do active revision where you have to do active recall you have to think of a concept you have to teach that concept to someone or you have to explain it to yourself or you have to scribble that concept that is how you have to recall so this one whole day you have to use to revise all the concepts okay all the subjects clear yes then 27 28 will be for your Canada exam so you have to spend time for that okay so now a question may arise like from where we will get the uh, if you are, if you have solved model test papers from before you want to solve some more questions so we have this abhyas case 2025 test series okay here the test series price is 1498 but if you pay just one rupee extra we are also providing you our pu2 success blueprint test series which is having 12 mock test okay so this will really help you to boost your preparation so yes if you are taking this by just one rupee you can add that as well so make sure that you utilize this advantage at this point of time and in this as i told you will be getting 35 mock test okay and you will be getting detailed video solutions one shot revision videos and live doubt clarification classes so for your case at exam also you can purchase from now onwards because the price may go high later okay so yes after that here are some do's and don'ts for the last days okay so please remember you have to revise smartly means you have to revise the high weightage topics first do not uh, panic that you have left some topics you haven't completed the 100 percent syllabus no worries for that even if you haven't completed the 100 percent syllabus still you can get good marks but make sure that you have completed the high weightage topics then use short notes and flashcards for revision do not go for book practice previous year questions follow a fixed study routine so i have give you given you a study routine please try to follow that then take at least six to seven hours of sleep eat healthy stay healthy because our now you cannot afford to fall sick even for a single day right then positive and confident you have to include breaks in your schedule so the timetable which i have given you 10 hours there are enough breaks are included so make sure that you can follow a similar timetable okay 
then you have to revise your weak areas what all things that you should not be doing do not study any new topics at this point of time okay this will create confusion do not cram okay do not try to remember everything try to understand then only it will be fruitful and you can remember till long period of time do not skip mock tests i told you at least two to model test papers you have to write so do not skip that do not use too many resources now that is not at all required only ncrt and previous year questions book that will be enough don't compare with others do not ask your friends how much they have prepared how much their preparation is going on don't discuss these things at all please do not use social media at this point of time now do not panic over the tough topics okay try to break the tough topics into small small chunks and study them okay next do not ignore your health and do not forget the exam guidelines clear so these are some of the things that you should be doing now let me tell you what all things are available in our channel so for your pu2 exams we have given already chakra view series it is continuing where you will find all the important mcqs in brahmastra course we have given you all the important 2 plus 3 marker questions 2 plus 3 plus 5 here all your mcqs are covered okay next we have al also discussed the preparatory question paper so just if you want to know what type of preparatory questions were asked we will be doing that here the access blueprint test series those students who have taken this one they have got one shot revision videos and also live doubt clarification classes now this was there which was already there in the channel apart from this we have launched our now a uh, pu2 uh, i can say a uh, series where we are will where we will be doing model test papers and today you all might have seen physics all one marker question a very uh, comprehensive video where somik sir has discussed all the one marker questions in one video okay then on 20 you can see the schedule here so these all things will be coming for physics similarly we will be having for chemistry as well okay next things will be for even we will be having for bio and maths okay so do not worry everything will be provided to you okay so if you want anything else apart from these things which is listed down you can put down in the comment section okay we will definitely address your students whatever is required to you people we are there to provide you we are there with you preparing for your exam so every time it is in our mind what else our students can need so we are trying to do everything we are also solving questions we are also collecting questions uh, like ref referring so many books right so these all things will be done for you so please subscribe the channel and do like our videos and please let us know if you have any requirement okay so that's all students all the very best please remember this last seven days are very very critical and we are not going to waste even a single second please study hard put your slots put your priority chapters and start studying them everybody can do better if they start working hard okay so do not get demotivated all the very best and see you soon in the next class